Hi, welcome to the next video. Sum of measures of the interior angles of a polygon. Polygon A simple closed curve made up of only line segments. Once I repeat, simple closed curve made up of only line segments. Let us see different types of polygon. Triangle, number of sides 3. Quadrilateral, number of sides 4. Pentagon, number of sides 5. And hexagon, number of sides is 6. Triangle, sum of all interior angles is 90 degree. In case of quadrilateral, number of triangle 1, 2, there will be a 2 triangles. So 2 into 180, 360 degree. And next is pentagon, 3 triangles, 3 into 180, some will be 540 degree. And hexagon, that is 4 triangles, so 4 into 180. 720. When we observe three number of sides, number of triangles one, number of sides when four, number of triangles is two, number of sides five, then number of triangles three, number of sides six, then number of triangles four. Let's see the relation. 3 minus 2, 1, so 1 into 180. In quadrilateral, 4 minus 2. And pentagon, 5 minus 2. And hexagon, 6 minus 2. So can you tell number of sides is n, then the number of triangles are dash n minus 2. Then angle sum equals to n minus 2 into 180 degree. So sum of the interior angles of a polygon is n minus 2 into 180. Let's see one example. Find the angle measure x in the following figure. So is a quadrilateral that is called a b, c, and d. The angle d is missing. So first of all, we should find some of the interior angles of this polygon. So we should find out number of sides. Here it is four sides. So n is four. Angle sum is n minus two into one eighty. So we should write four minus two into one eighty. So it means two into one eighty is three sixty degree. One is one twenty degree. Then one thirty degree. 50 plus x total 360 degree so when we add all this we get 300 plus x is 360 degree therefore x is equals to 360 minus 300 so it is 60 degree so the value of x is 60 degree so i hope it's clear thanks for watching